Welcome back. <laughs> totally different outlook. A lot can happen in between. Some rain and a break. <laughs> yeah, I thought <laughs> while I was hiking and the rain getting more severe and stronger. As you can see, the sun is back out. Absolutely freaking lootly. <laughs> yes, and now recording without the camera stick, without the selfie stick. And yeah, holding the phone in my hand, all the process. Feels nice, getting more used to it step by step. Yeah, it's a long way to go. And yeah, I just thought about the different scripts I wrote for the introduction and where I stopped before the rain got more severe. <laughs> and yeah, as my phone setup is not yet waterproof i thought nah i'm not gonna risk it and stop recording for for a minute uh and from the minute it got to hour or two took a lunch break and for my hike also took care of some things in between it was uh, quite nice if you have an alternative <laughs> yet now i'm on my way back and thought why not continue and yeah close the day off you know this part of the introduction with uh, yeah some statements and continue the talk talking about some topics that are really really important for me and that <laughs> almost appeared in every script and i had several scripts for uh, i had several scripts in front of me while i was as you can see authentic keeping it real keeping it recording keep it recording Keep recording, keep recording, keep recording as I'm, yeah, not in the forest anymore. I will enter in a, in a little bit and yeah, continue my hike back to the, to the house. And yeah, step by step, I will share something about me, about my journey. And also it was quite nice. Everything happens for a reason, right? <laughs> for what reason? Yeah, sometimes we never find out and sometimes we think about one one reason exactly one reason might be our reason in that moment our reasoning or somebody else's right so many different interpretations and yeah ways of living backgrounds and all of that and as i thought about it during the break <laughs> and using the rain actually because now i just love the nature even more after a fresh breeze after a fresh rain the colors are some kind of more some stronger and yeah the sun the, the air feels fresher <laughs> so for now it's nice trust the process trust the process so in the first at the first moment i was wow i'm in the middle of uh, quite a nice and interesting topic to me and which I want to share and yeah actually record it's first and foremost for me to see my process to see my development especially for somebody like me who <laughs> has uh, a lot of attention challenges you know keeping the attention and staying focused staying determined to a certain thing as I'm so diverse, <laughs> yeah, it's such a diverse interest in all, all of the fields and some of you might already seen it on my channel and the ones who know me, <laughs> know me from my private life, lots of things, lots of things, sports, you know, nutrition, healthy lifestyle, holistic lifestyle and that is one of the things that came clearer became clearer and clearer of the last years yeah when I was younger I didn't think about such things so philosophical profound maybe and deep you know getting deeper on those kind of topics what does health mean and what does the term holistic even mean it was even when I was younger the term that was so far away, so abstract, 
and it was only through my mother actually that I heard about it and got to learn about it. Yet as you can imagine or might imagine <laughs> as a teenager in puberty and as a younger adult I thought I knew everything. I thought I'm the smartest and <laughs> thought life has no surprises to offer and everything was set out for me, for everyone to experience. So, as you can see, now I'll be surrounded more and more by nature again, by the forest. And yeah, it's so relaxing, so relaxing. Definitely one of the biggest topics as we ah, might not see <laughs> with the shadow, the shade. Yeah, one of the most important topics of my life right now, the connection to nature, the connection to nature in general. And it can be so diverse, right? What is nature? <laughs> How you define nature? Is it the forest? Yeah, some trees, birds. What is it actually? What we talk about when we talk about nature. Everything comes from nature, right? Humans are part of nature and the more and more uh, yeah, I learned about those things and got interested in those kind of topics and yeah, grow older, <laughs> age-wise, also mentally, uh, yeah, reading a lot and dealing with a lot of topics in my life that are so culturally diverse as I lived in different cultures and more on that later, <laughs> definitely. So as you can see, I got the stick here, <laughs> I will mount it in a minute. Even though <laughs> I'm training a lot, it feels some uh, like some kind of workout for my arm. <laughs> so, and it's nice. Maybe I will use it in the future, changing the arms and using it as yeah a shoulder workout, <laughs> a static arm holding workout. Hey, everything new, and not that I've never recorded myself before yet consistently and recording myself as in a video and intended for use YouTube now as a platform for an audience, for a broader audience than me, myself, my friends, <laughs> close ones. And yeah, it's it's interesting. It's interesting so and that's why I want to definitely keep it so authentic as I am real, as I am and pure and honest. And of course getting inspired and influenced by a lot of people in my life and along the process, especially now also as I'm a big fan of YouTube. I'm, <laughs> ever since I think YouTube was founded <laughs> and published, I, I love YouTube as yeah, a kind of platform different to all the other social media platforms. And that's why I felt always more connected to YouTube and to the creators and people on YouTube than on other uh, platforms, even though they might be the same or nice people right <laughs> so but there was something that hooked me to youtube because um just recently i heard something that if you spend two hours on youtube it might feel different than if you spend two hours for example on instagram or on tiktok so yeah nice a nice opening i don't know if you can see it with my phone camera <laughs> yeah setup is also a thing yes i'm doing my best and using it, as you might see, yeah, the sun is coming out, clouds clearing up, and the view is just beautiful across the mountains, across the forest and hills, hearing the birds in the background, and yeah, getting closer to the trails again in the forest. So, you might see a lot of camera switches <laughs> and angle switches in the beginning, yes. Uh, I wrote it down as well, just uh, before I started recording again, as addition to my, my script I'm using now, if you can call it that, <laughs> that, yeah, what I mentioned before, my life is so diverse and so complex in terms of the variety of people and different people I know and also cultures, languages, I mentioned that I think before, now it's becoming that my second language is Spanish and English is almost my third language, even though it's 
kind of my first language as most of the music and movies and also yeah my podcast and my videos right now are in english so yeah it's a mix of everything and my mother's tongue is first language german and yeah we'll go into detail on that more and more step by step along the way and also i thought about my niche and maybe the specific audience I'm addressing or me also in my life for this YouTube channel is not only like a channel so I could present something and share something no it's part of me part of my journey and part of me being honest and authentic with my strength and also my interests and passions you know on my on my way and just recently the last <laughs> inspiration I got actually today and yesterday was re-reading and re-listening to a book by Rick Rubin and it's about broad description now <laughs> as this is also part of the channel book reviews maybe song reviews also I think about and other reviews of myself how I see them interpret them and what I got out from the books and from the stuff I read, hear, listen to, conversations. So, <laughs> very broad and very complex. So, getting into the forest now. Also, the next step will be definitely a microphone because I think the audio is one of the most important things, right? Not only for the music or the sounds in general, yet for the voice. And my channel will be definitely, even though a lot of visuals are included right now as well, will be the voice primarily the voice important the voice of me and the voice of everyone around and so that is why i want to keep it open right now and yeah i started talking about my channel earlier it's complex so workouts <laughs> different arts presenting different cultures maybe talking about philosophy and so on self-development but one thing one main topic is really truly important for myself and this is definitely for sure to me this is definitely for me very very sure <laughs> so i might cut that out <laughs> yes one thing is definitely for let me certain but one thing i'm definitely certain of the more I think about it, the holistic lifestyle, you know, incorporating the holistic lifestyle and what it means to me, right? How I interpret it and how I see it, you know, the connection of body, the mind and the soul and what it means to me. That will definitely <laughs> lead us into a very, very profound and deep conversation and complex conversation over human history, right? over ages centuries since human beginnings so and that is really important to me right a self-development how can i as a person develop with everything that is happening around me the circumstances that are so unique to me and to everyone and how everyone connects still like the interconnectedness of each and everyone right and how we and all of that and that is the inspiration I got, the latest one, <laughs> from Rick Rubin's book. Yeah, how to discover your creativity and how to work with your creativity and how to discover it even and what it means as a different for you and for me. And I think YouTube as a you know platform and my channel, sharing everything what I'm sharing right now with you, is a great great help for me personally not only because it's possible in this day and age to talk on YouTube <laughs> and to present ourselves as human beings and our crafts and interests and passions humor everything right so each and everyone has their strength and that's why I love YouTube as I love life in general and respect life because ah, I'm coming across one of my favorite spots yeah maybe I'll do a little detour 
again <laughs> exactly and so it is complex right and yet why it is so complex and diverse so interesting because we can discover something new each and every day each and every moment no matter the circumstances yeah one of my favorite spots you will probably see it or maybe if you have seen one of my YouTube shorts, <laughs> my workout shorts, I recorded it here. One of my favorite places in the forest to do a workout or to meditate. And there used to be a little platform, like a wooden wooden pallet, where I put my phone. <laughs> so quite nice to record. So I might come back here in the future as I think the lightning, oh, I mentioned that earlier, natural lightning is it's amazing that's why I want to include it as much as as much as possible as you can see yeah English is also I'm picking up on my English which is quite nice and yeah getting used to the recording I actually quite like it looking at myself <laughs> but more importantly the surroundings and the content and for myself to to stay on my path and that's that's the thing, right? So I want to use this channel, even though I might discover different pathways throughout the journey and different new topics and getting inspired, staying inspired by each and every one. And if you watch the, the first two longer videos now, after my restart, where I show my face, like, like right now, really direct and open, I also reacted a little bit to music and that's another topic you know with uh, YouTube of course we're talking about copyrights we're talking about yeah the length of a video how many times per week will I release something and so on and so on because as of now in my life a lot of things happened really or I did a lot of things spontaneous and more short-term planned <laughs> if you call it that short-term oriented and yeah for something I think like YouTube seeing it also and which is good for me a great help as some kind of business also first and foremost it's my passion absolutely and it will be my passion you know to share to connect to talk to also learn to engage to communicate all of that in the holistic aspects about a healthy body what does it mean right ah, some quite nice stairs getting down we're not getting up as in a lot of rings up 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 the stairs we go <laughs> into the tunnel no no I'm going down into the forest <laughs> so yeah maybe I should should switch the lanes as yeah, be careful see that's also one of the things being aware and conscious about and of your surroundings and right now after the rain it's quite slippery so i will stop the recording for now and concentrate and focus my <laughs> way of and my view on the way so i just got down the stairs behind me enjoying the forest deep in the forest i hear some trucks and cars in the background and I think the audio quality in the forest is quite nice like it is right now with the addition of a microphone <laughs> going forward absolutely and yeah we will see some switches and changes possibly with the camera the angle I might not use a stick all the time like the Serfa stick even though <laughs> I'm super grateful for this very very nice person who gave it to me yeah some time ago and yeah now I can make use of it see everything I think has a place and time everything and yeah a lot of times we don't actually understand it or we don't see it directly but I think if we are open also another aspect that's pretty pretty fresh you know the book of Rick Rubin yeah and this topic is it came like so many others, like so many other inspirations and 
talks, conversations in the last couple of weeks, it came at the right time for me. Not only for the journey on YouTube now to start again, looking into my channel, also my podcast, writing again consistently, right, on a regular basis. And that's also one of the most important things for me on the, on the path and the growing process. Yeah, getting distracted. Now I'm getting distracted so much by the forest and the lightning. I mean, it's you cannot almost not beat the natural human eye seeing that as the sun is coming through the leaves and the trees and it's getting reflected. This is natural lightning. And I mentioned it before, also something, you know, for my setup as I have arranged some kind of <laughs> provisional studio uh, in my cabin where I want to record videos as well. Yeah, the lightning, important topic. Also, like so many other topics I mentioned, it's, it's a learning curve. And sometimes in my life I try <laughs> to learn and do almost everything at the same time without a break and doing it and learning new stuff and engaging in new stuff and starting new new things which is quite interesting absolutely and quite amazing and i can be so grateful that i have the chance to do all that i can be so thankful 